Good evening to you. Investigators say she was visibly intoxicated. Tonight, we are learning more about a deadly hit and run crash in southern Kentucky. State police say Sonia Askins was driving a car that hit and killed Teresa Ward Bennett, who was walking with her husband along Highway 895 in Whitley County last week. Askins was in court today, and a detective took the stand to lay out the evidence. Victor Puente has the latest in our top story at 5:30. The two people who were hit were walking in front of their home last week. During the preliminary hearing this afternoon, we got more information about the moments before and after that impact. Teresa Ward Bennett and her husband Joshua were walking on Kentucky 859 when they were struck by a car last Monday. The impact killed Teresa and sent Josh to the hospital. Kentucky State Police say Sonia Askins was the driver responsible for hitting the two. She checked on for a very brief moment. Uh, one of the pedestrians was laying there and she was uh, deceased on the scene. She inquired about him, then left the scene and she went to her boyfriend's house, then later came back. At her preliminary hearing, a detective testified that Askins was under the influence at the time of the crash. She told me that she had a shot of moonshine earlier that day, and she took she took some vitamins, some other prescription medication. She told me she took oxycodone and also uh, morphine. The day after the crash, a neighbor told me Askins had crashed on that road before. Today, Detective Kelly said she had lost an eye when it happened. Approximately about a year, year and a few months prior to that, and she had that, but the other eye looked like he was um, <coughs> red, uh, bloodshot. Also, she slurred her speech a little bit. Askins' attorneys didn't raise any objections in court, simply asking for clarification on some of the detective's statements. The judge decided there was enough evidence to send this case on to a grand jury, but would decide if Askins would be indicted for murder, assault, and several other charges. In Whitley County, Victor Puente, WKYT. The crash happened in front of the Bennett's home. Last week, Joshua Bennett told us he will not be able to go back there because of what happened.